Hey, 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 I I'm back. I'm back, baby. I'm back where I belong. Do I? I'm back in my room, in the recording set, in the recording studio, whatever you want to call it. I'm here and I'm ready to share with you my predictions for Crown Jewel. I was thinking about doing a review for the role that I missed for the NXT that I missed and everything, but there are just so many days in the week that I can upload videos on YouTube. So I decided to invest my only day of recording into doing a predictions video. I wanted to do a predictions video for a long time and now Crown Draw is ahead of us. In fact, it's after a few hours and I'm really excited to see what's gonna happen. So the first match that is in the kickoff show that I'm really pissed about is Sami Zayn versus JD McDonough. Just before six months, Sami Zayn was main eventing WrestleMania and now Sami Zayn is in the kickoff show. How? Why? Anyway, this is a good opportunity for JD McDonough to shine because until now JD McDonough was just a squash match for anyone. Now, JD McDonough has the opportunity to put the spotlight on himself and I'm sure that Sami Zayn is going to put the spotlight on him and for some reason, I think that somehow JD McDonough is going to win that one. I just imagine that Sami Zayn is going to put him over so that he gets some heat. I don't know how much heat he can get in the kickoff show, but still, I think JD McDonough is gonna win that one. After that, a match for the WWE Women's Championship, EO Sky versus Bianca Belair. And honestly, I think EO Sky is gonna retain. EO Sky became a champion like a few months ago, not even two months ago, I think. So for me, it makes sense for her to retain. Bianca can't be without a championship for some time. For a long time, I thought the championship makes Bianca, but right now I want to see Bianca without a championship to see what's gonna happen with her. And please, for the love of God, stop fighting with damage control. Stop fighting with Bailey. I think I have seen Bianca versus Bailey matches from 2019 till now, like, I don't know, it was not 2019, it was 2020 the last. Anyway, they, they were fighting for a long time, like, Bianca pick a fight with someone else, with someone new, with someone who nobody cares about and put him over. Like Bianca Belair versus Jade Cargill. I don't know, I really want to see Jade Cargill, but uh, I don't know what is the perfect setting. I hope they build the perfect storyline for her to put her on the map, on the level of Bianca, Charlotte, Becky, etc. But anyway, as I said in the beginning, Yusuke retains tonight. Another one, John Cena versus Solo Sikoa. Yesterday, John Cena just pummeled Solo Sikoa verbally on the mic, which means that probably Solo Sikoa is gonna win that one. In the last run, in the last run that Jonas, I was about to say Jonas Cena, in the last run that John Cena does, I feel like he's trying to put people over. Not that he was not trying to do that whenever he was doing runs in the past, but now he's more okay with losing. Not that a losing makes the other person go over necessarily, but I feel like this is the thing that is happening right now. So my prediction is that Solo Sico is gonna win and he's gonna injure John Cena uh, by, by the thumb attack, by Samoan Spike. Uh, and uh, yeah, somehow John Cena is gonna be away from SmackDown and he's gonna go back to Hollywood, I assume. And I don't know, my prediction is that the bloodline is gonna prevail, Jimmy is gonna help, Jimmy is gonna help Solo, Jimmy is gonna help Roman, I don't know how and why everything is gonna happen, but my, as I said, my prediction, Solo wins, John Cena loses, unfortunately. Otherwise, we can say that John Cena 
wins. And what then? Maybe he can pick a fight with someone else, but the logical continuation of everything is to just go away for some time. Because he probably has some stuff to do outside of WWE. Look, I'm, I'm not his agent. I don't know what he has to do, but uh, I, I just think that he's a busy man. A little bit of an impromptu match. It was made official two weeks ago. Cody Rhodes versus Damian Priest. Not that I'm not excited to see that match, but I'm not excited to see the Judgment Day versus Cody Rhodes. Not because of anything else, but Cody Rhodes slowly needs to get his way back to the title picture. It doesn't matter if it's Cody, it doesn't matter if it's Roman. For me, Cody must go straight to that. Instead, he won the tag team championship, he loses the tag team championships, and I feel like he will go for the tag team championships again next week or the following weeks, according to Jay Uso. But anyway, for the match, Cody Rhodes versus Damian Priest, Cody Rhodes is gonna win for sure 1000% because Damian Priest, story-wise, will become a broken man. Cody Rhodes said a thousand times that the leader of the Judgment Day is Rhea Ripley, and in fact, the leaders of the Judgment Day are everyone but Damian Priest, and last week on Raw, we saw how Damian Priest was broken of that fact. Cody Rhodes even said that Dominic Mysterio is better leader than him. So I assume that Cody Rhodes is gonna win. And after that, the problems for the Judgment Day will start snowballing. Because he's gonna be like, how everyone sees everyone as a leader but me and all of that crap. And he... he probably will turn on the Judgment Day and I don't know, probably something interesting is gonna happen. I don't want the Judgment Day saga to end, but some drama will happen. After that, the United States Championship match, Logan Paul versus Rey Mysterio. And I think, I don't know why I want to say this, but I think Logan Paul is gonna win this one. He's in Saudi Arabia, he's really loved in Saudi Arabia, and also Rey Mysterio is doing nothing with the US Championship. Nothing is a strong word, I feel like Theory was doing nothing with the Championship. He's doing something with the Championship, but it could be a lot better, and I feel like Rey Mysterio can just transfer a lot of star power to Logan Paul and this might be Logan Paul's first championship run and it's re it's exciting to think about the guy that came one year ago into WWE he's so gifted and now he's gonna be with the championship and probably he's gonna be able to put that championship on the map because he was he has been creative so far, he has good promos, he has the skills, he's an entertainer, let's face it. So my prediction is that they're gonna put the title on him and see what's gonna happen. Maybe it's gonna be good, maybe it's gonna be bad, I don't know, but my prediction is Logan Paul wins. Big match for the Women's World Championship. Rhea Ripley, Shayna Baszler, Nia Jax, Zoe Stark, Raquel Rodriguez, fatal five-way match. And now my prediction is that Rhea Ripley wins. And with that, she just proves that she's the most dominant woman in the division. Where this win leads the whole division, I don't know, I'm not sure, but I think we want to put Rhea over. I want to establish Rhea and also her victory will assert dominance within the Judgment Day and will assert dominance over Damien Priest and that will fuel that Judgment Day drama. Of course, as I said a few seconds ago, that will probably be bad for the whole women's division, but maybe if she wins, if she becomes the most dominant woman in the division, maybe Becky will come after her. We're gonna have a huge match there. Maybe even Jade Cario can be in the picture, maybe someone else, but I feel like Rhea Ripley retaining versus four of the best in the industry 
is the right choice. Seth Rollins versus Drew McIntyre for the World Heavyweight Championship and Seth is gonna retain. Sorry, but Seth is having a legendary run. Seth is a PWI Insider Wrestler of the Year. Yeah, he needs time to rest probably because he's doing a lot of shit with that championship, but I think he needs to retain the title and he needs to run with it for a few more months to make it a little bit more relevant before someone else pick it from him. Yeah, Drew would be a good guy to pick the title from Seth, but it's not the time now yet, so my prediction is Seth retains. Last but not least, the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Roman Reigns versus LA Knight. And as someone in my comments said, LA Knight is gonna get that L tonight. Unfortunately, this is how it is. It doesn't matter how much heat LA Knight has, our tribal chief will prevail. He has his bloodline, everything is going good for him. I don't see how LA Knight will be the guy who they are gonna strap a rocket on. Cody is gonna be the guy. Cody. My prediction before now, Cody was Bray Wyatt coming back, but Bray is no longer with us. So Cody is my prediction for WrestleMania 40 that is gonna pick the title for Roman. But nonetheless, LA Knight versus Roman Reigns is a lot of hype, a lot of things to expect. I'm really excited to see that match. I'm sure that LA Knight is gonna look like a million bucks because Roman Reigns look, is making everyone look like a million bucks in the ring. So yeah, Roman Reigns, our tribal chief, our head of the table, retains. And with that being said, these were my predictions for WWE Crown Jewel. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm gonna see you bang tomorrow for my Crown Jewel review. Let's see if I have nailed the predictions. Thank you. Have a great day watching Crown Jewel or a great night or a great morning. And I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Peace. I'm never gonna do this again. Bye.